Hello everyone. This video is concerned with the discussion of total internal reflection, abbreviated as TIR. So when light travels from an optically denser medium to a rarer medium, then at the interface, some part of the light gets refracted and some get reflected. Now this reflection is called internal reflection. Now considering Snell's law, which states that the ratio of the sine of the angle of incidence to the sine of the angle of refraction is constant. That is, sine i by sine r is equal to refractive index of the medium containing refracted light divided by refractive index of medium containing incident light, which can be also written as mu i sine i equals mu r sine r, where mu i and mu r are constant. So if we increase the angle of incidence, that is i, then sin i will also increase on the left side of the equation. So on the right hand side sin r must increase that is r which is angle of refraction must increase. Therefore if we increase the angle of incidence then angle of refraction will also increase. Now if we increase the angle of incidence enough the angle of refraction becomes 90 degrees. That is it will just pass through or gaze through the interface. This angle of incidence is called critical angle. The critical angle is the angle at which we get 90 degrees of angle of refraction. If we continue increasing the angle of incidence from this point, the light starts to get completely reflected. That is no light gets refracted from now. The complete reflection of light within the medium is called total internal reflection. If we want to calculate the value of critical angle we can substitute the value of r equal 90 degrees and we can solve the equation and we can calculate the value of theta c now there are some important things that you should consider while talking about total internal reflection number one total internal reflection always happens when light is passing through denser medium to rarer medium always number two there is no phase difference between the incident ray and reflected ray in total internal reflection you may know that when light reflects from denser medium there is phase difference of pi but since in tir the reflection is from rarer medium there is no phase difference so thanks for watching this video i hope you like this video and if you did make sure you subscribe my channel because i'll post more educational videos like this and I'm sure you don't want to miss on that. Have a nice day. Bye.